Good morning, Sunitians. Welcome to the 27th episode of our India Extraordinary series. We have much to celebrate in this extraordinary land we call India, home to over 1.3 billion people. That from the ancient times to pre-independence period to the India we live in today has witnessed the greatness of many champions. Some of them are known to us and some unknown. We bring to you 75 episodes throughout the 75th year of independence. Salute the efforts of true champions of change. They are truly India's extraordinary. Remember the last time when you went for a trek or to a location in the mountains, forests, or a beach side? What did you do? Connect with nature, click pictures, or something like this. Yeah, my car. Or yeah, me. Or yeah, my party. Or yeah. Just like this, all of us go to the mountains and forests to take hundreds of photos and say that we have rejuvenated and connected with nature. But do we ever take efforts to actually help nature? I want to ask a question to the people watching this video. How many trees have you planted? Ten, twenty, a hundred? Well, let me introduce you to the forest man of India, Jadav Paing, who planted trees over one thousand three hundred and sixty acres. the majuli district for 36 years and turned a barren wasteland into a lush forest here's his story meet jadav bai the forest man of india he was born to a poor buffalo farmer of missing tribe in assam india He lives in a small hut in the forest with his wife Vinita and his three children. He created a man-made forest because in Central Park, New York, at 16, he saw hundreds of dead snakes, the victims of a major drought occurring on Majuli Reserve. The trees are dying, buffaloes are fleeing, and the land was disappearing. At that time, scientists had declared the island dead within a few years. Instead of doing nothing, Jadav started planting saplings. of a barren wasteland in Assam. Every day he planted one new sapling. 35 years later, that barren wasteland is a lush green forest spread over 1360 acres and still growing. Deforestation is not an alien concept to us. We all have grown up learning about it and witnessing it before our very eyes as more and more buildings replace trees and we rarely do anything about it. But Jadav changes it by single-handedly doing something which may be unimaginable, but not unachievable. Now, let's hear from Jadav Bayang himself. Mom, she showed me a yatha. Me ko pusaya, wo jungle me jaake. Je dunia ke aadmi to jungle karta hai aur tu jungle tu pagal hai kya kya? वो अपना ना जंगल मेरे घर है और दूसरा के घर नहीं है इसके लिए जंगल बसाने के लिए मेरे काम है इसके लिए करा है जो ऑक्सीजन मिलेगा कहाँ से मिलेगा आप लोग तो घर में बैठा है आप लोग तो इसके लिए ऑक्सीजन देने पड़ेगा कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कौन खाएगा पेड़ भी खाएगा उसको रुकने पड़ेगा सिंपल माइंड सेट वॉन्टेड टू ग्रो ट्रीज टू प्रोवाइड ऑक्सीजन and to make a home for animals to return to which bore fruit as due to the ecosystem he built the animals have returned the molai forest now is a home to many animals like elephants rhinos deer and royal bengal tigers for his work jadav was invited to speak at many places like tedx bangalore tedx iim kashipur tedx iim tezpur and he was also invited as one of the seven head social activists at the positive economy forum le avre 2015 in france paying has also been honored with numerous important awards over the last years dr apj abdul kalam former president of india gave him the title the forest man of india in 2012 he was awarded on the world day to combat desertification by prakash javadekar in 2020 The Padma Shri in 2015 by former President Pranab Mukherjee, the Swami Vivekananda Karma Yogi Award by Prakash Javadekar in 2020, the USTM Social Excellence Award in 
and many more. Now the question is, where is Jadav and what is he doing? Currently, he is a part of an ongoing project for which in December 2019, 62-year-old Jadav Paye signed an agreement with an NGO to collaborate on environmental projects in Mexico, which aims to plant 7 million trees in the North American country. Learning Outcomes Many of us are happy with just planting a rose plant or tulsi in our balconies, but we should be inspired by people like Jadav Payek and help nature more. We worship plants like tulsi, but on the other hand, we don't hesitate to destroy whole jungles. Deforestation is a choice and it should be stopped. Let us make our world green. Let's do this for ourselves. Thank you for joining me. Rivan Sood this morning in celebrating India Extraordinary Champions of Change, Jadav Payank. Have a great day ahead.